I'm here with Daily Brewing Video, and today we're doing a little tour of Westwood, uh, trying out different eats at different price points, and seeing which one is the most worth it. Today we'll be trying some sandwiches from Ike Sandwiches. We'll be getting some acai bowls from Nectar. We'll be getting some Korean fusion chipotle bowls from Kalbi. And then we'll be getting some Indian food from Bollywood Bites. And finally, to top it off, we'll be getting some crepes from Mana More. Let's go! All right guys, we're here at Ike's Love and Sandwiches. And we ordered one of their more popular sandwiches on the menu, the Yael University. It has a halal chicken, honey mustard, bacon, Monterey, and provolone cheese, and then lettuce and tomatoes, I think. So it's pretty chill. Kind of tastes like what bacon would taste like if it was mixed with teriyaki sauce. They use a specific bread called Dutch Crunch. I think the bread is the highlight of the sandwich, you know? Because if you think about it, the bread's the most important part of the sandwich because uh, it takes up the biggest parts of the sandwich, the top and the bottom. Ooh. Oh, wow, this is a lot better than I remember it being. All right, guys, uh, we're out here at Nectar Juice Bar, um, and we got the Bruin Bowl. What's hemp seed granola? Okay, strawberry, blueberry, banana, house-made cashew milk. It's made of two different components. You got this nice little purple color. Always get two spoons so you can share. <laughs> I think it's like the new health craze and it's very good. So yeah, overall, this dish, or th this plate, or this bowl, I would definitely give this bowl a solid four out of five. All right guys, we're out here at uh, Kagbi's Korean Grill, and um, yeah, it's a very interesting place because it takes on um, this kind of Korean Chipotle fusion. You got like a build your own bowl. There's a LA Fitness nearby, so you know, if you're trying to burn off that freshman 15, it's just really good. The quality of the meat combined with the uniqueness of such a dish makes it definitely like a 4.5 out of 5. I can't really put a finger on it, but it's like a... It's not spicy, but it's like a spice. Alright guys, we're here at Bollywood Bites in uh, Westwood now. This is uh, your traditional Indian cuisine, but it's more catered towards college students. Uh, today we got the Bruin Bowl. And what that comes with is some white basmati rice. And you could choose your choice of protein or uh, entree on top. But uh, today we got the butter chicken. So on the weekends, they actually kind of close the shop down and they make a buffet, an all-you-can-eat buffet for a set price. I think that's one of the goals of this restaurant, just being able to reach um, college students with really authentic and really, really good uh, Indian food. All right, and for dessert, we're here at Mana More Cafe. Um, they specialize in crepes. They got all sorts of crepes, and they also got some specialty crepes. But today, uh, we got something a little special. Um, nothing as American as apple pie. And so we got the apple pie crepe. I, I do think the crepe batter is a little lacking. It's a little more subtle taste. The bitterness of the and the acidity of the apple really comes through. Taking the price into consideration, I got to give it like a three out of five. All right, outro? Okay. Yeah, yeah I feel like it, yeah. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for coming along on this little adventure. Um, I think we had a lot of fun and the food was really, really good. There was definitely a unique blend of everything. And to be honest, I think my personal favorite was Bollywood Bites. I think that was by far the most worth it. Other than that, I think Kaibi was pretty good. It's a lot bigger and the food is really good. It's a little more expensive, but I do think the least worth it would have to be the crepes. Um, they were just pretty average crepes, but at the same time, it's the closest one to UCLA. And so if you're looking for something quick, um, something that's not too far away, it's definitely the place to go. But yeah, uh, thanks and uh, we'll see you next time. Same time, I don't know if it's worth this is what it's like to be a food blogger. Oh my gosh. <laughs>